Hey guys, so I know I haven't talked to you in a while. It has literally been forever. College is stressful, so there's that. That's basically the big reason why. But anyways, um, so today I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I know I usually do like music reviews and stuff, but today I really wanted to do a video of my experience meeting one of my favorite bands, Forever In Your Mind. And I met them exactly a week ago today, so if I'm a little emotional, that's why. Like, I miss them more than words can even say, like, to be honest. Um, but, okay, basically I'll just do, like, a whole day, like, experience because it was a long day. So, basically I got to the venue at 1 p.m., exactly 1 p.m., and I sat out in the freezing cold in the, like, 32 degree weather for five hours. No, four hours. One, two, three, four. four hours, sorry. Four hours. Sorry, that was my computer. Um, I sat out in the freezing cold for four hours. And that was hard. But anyways, it's dedication. It's what you do for the people you love. Um, so I was sitting out in the freezing cold with one of my best friends who I went to the concert with for four hours. So that was that. But then I had one meet and greets to win or to meet Olivia Holt, who was the main person at the con. She was like the main act of the concert, and so I was really excited for that. So we went in at five, and then we met Olivia Holt. We stood there for a while, and then we went in and met Olivia Holt, and it was really quick. And then we waited for another hour, and there were these really annoying little girls, like. To be honest, I don't know why they were there. They were like 10, and they were like, we can't see because we had front row. And I was like, okay, well, get over it. I've been here since 1. Anyways, so that's a whole side story. But then, basically, Isaac Elliott, who I also love, came on as the first opening act, and he was really good. And then, Forever in Your Mind came on. And let me tell you, I had never seen them live before, even though I'd been supporting them for a while. They were freaking amazing. I had front row, and... Um, I have so many pictures. I, if I was a really good video editor, I would insert them right now, but I'm not. So anyways, um, you can go follow my Twitter and Instagram and I'll have those down in the bio. Um, but, so, honestly, Forever In Your Mind was amazing. They started off really hyped up and doing all that, and then when they broke it down and did enough, or, <laughs> and did, what am I saying, and did Compass, that song, let me just tell you guys, just a little quick sidebar. That song has saved my life. Um, I know that's like crazy to say that a song has saved your life and a band has saved your life, but honestly they have. Like, it's a long story, but yeah. So they, that song, I told myself I'm not gonna break down when they were singing the song. And I actually did really well. I didn't cry basically through the whole song, and so that was good. But then, so, and then, after Forever in Your Mind set, they were going to be back out at their merch table, or at the merch table for everyone. And so, I basically went right after Forever in Your Mind set, even though there were still two more acts, one being Olivia Holt, one being Rylan Lynch, um, I went out right away. Like, I was like, I need to meet them, I, I need to. Like, that's one of the main reasons I was there. So, when I went there, I first was with two of my friends, and I first met Emery, and basically was just like, you saved my life, and I gave him a hug across the table, and um, we took a selfie, and he was like, thank you so much for coming, and I was like, you guys were amazing, like, I love you, all the typical fangirl stuff. Um, and then I met Ricky, and honestly, Ricky, he gets really good hugs, let me just be honest about that, he gives great hugs. But I basically said the same exact stuff, like, you saved my life, I love you, thank you for being so amazing. Um, and then, actually, one of my best friends, um, Megan, she is in love with them, also. So, I actually FaceTimed her when I was meeting Ricky. Like, I FaceTimed her for that. And I said, hey, like, can you talk to my friend Megan? So, he talked to her for a little bit, and she kept fangirling, and it was a great moment. Um, so then that's when I met them for the first time. And then I couldn't meet Liam right away because they had to be rushed out for something. And then they came, and then I was waiting in, like, the front of the venue, but it's, like, the back, if you're looking, like, if here's the stage, like, the back of the venue, I guess. So, we were hanging out, like, my mom and my friend's grandma had a table back there, and they were just sitting there, and, and then Ricky and Emery came out, um, first, like, 
and we're just walking around and talking to fans and stuff that were back there and taking pictures and all this stuff. So first I met um, Ricky and I, the, the video honestly is so cute, but first I met Ricky and basically what happened was um, I hugged him. Well, first I took a picture, like his mom took a picture and all that. And then I hugged him for a good like minute and basically how it went down when I hugged him I just kept telling him you've honestly saved my life and he was like wait really like he was he was in shock that like they could have actually saved someone's life and I was like yeah and like in my video you can see like him saying that and and then I just said all this other stuff I was like my friend Megan's still freaking out that she got to talk to you and basically it was just a great experience. He gives great hugs. And I told him, I was like, I don't want to let go. And he was like, you don't have to. And that's when I started breaking down crying. Like, I was just, I didn't want to cry in front of him, but I did. Like, I mean, it wasn't like breaking down like, oh, I couldn't even talk. But I did start crying a little bit on the inside. And so it was just, it was an amazing moment that even though I had, I didn't get every single bit of it on camera, on video or pictures... I'm going to remember it in my mind, and it'll be forever in my mind. Okay, sorry, bad forever in your mind pun. Um, but, yeah, so it it was just amazing. And then I was sitting, and then I went back to the table where my mom and my friend's grandma were, and I just, that's when I actually started crying, like, on the outside. I was just like, he's just so amazing. Like, I love him. Like, I don't even know what I did to deserve this guy. And so that happened. And then Emery was just walking around. And I hugged, I went up to him and I hugged him and I said, hey, can we get a picture and a video and stuff? And at first, well, at first he just thought it was a picture. So we just started talking and I talked about how much I loved his set. And I loved that he held my hand during the first few songs for part of them. And then, and then he said, yeah, like I remember where you were standing and stuff. And then, and then I don't think he knew it was supposed to be a video because like we turned around and he was like waving. He was like, oh, was it a video? And it was just really cute and I have a really cute video of that. And then, after that, he, he was just walking around, like, the same area of the venue, like, out in the back area. And he was looking at them, because the venue that I, my show was at had, like, merchandise that they were selling. And so, I, I told him, I pointed to one of the shirts, and I was like, hey, you should get that one. It would look really good on you. And he was like, wait, really? And I was like, yeah, you honestly should. And so... Um, he actually eventually did get that shirt because he posted an Instagram picture in it that night. But, um, so then, after that, we literally started talking. Like, we had known each other for years. Like, we were best friends. Like, it was great. Like, we were just talking and t about anything and everything. And he, then he started, we, was, we sat down on this ledge and he was, like, looking through pictures because he saw that I had pictures on my phone of, like, from the show. And he was like, oh, can I see those? And then, so he looked through the pictures and was, like, picking out ones that he really, really liked. And was like, this one's a really good one and stuff. And then he told me to tweet one specific picture to him that he really, really liked. So I did. And then he saved it. And then later that night, he actually, or not later that night, the next day, he actually posted it on Instagram. So, and he was like, a beautiful fan took this. And when he said that, that melted my heart. Like, I was just like, what? even just happened, Emery freaking Kelly just called me beautiful, okay, um, not, I'm not okay right now, um, so, that happened, and honestly, like, this whole experience, I would say it was one of my best, one of my favorite concerts that I've ever been to, like, even though Forever in Your Mind was only an opening act and all that, like, it's just the memories that I have of talking to them afterwards and, like, how chill they were and how much they were nice and, I mean, obviously they're nice, but, like, how open they were to talking to fans and all that stuff. And then I actually met Liam. I almost forgot. I met Liam afterwards. He wasn't as talkative. Like, he's more shy and stuff. And I don't know what was wrong. I think he was just having an off night or something. But he was really nice. Like, honestly, he was like, do you want to take a picture? And, like, we talked for a little bit. So that was really exciting. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Um, so, honestly, meeting all of them and meeting Olivia was it was just an incredible experience and I'm so grateful that I got to do it and I will remember this day forever and like I said it's been exactly a week since I met them like a week ago at this time I was talking to Ricky like that's just crazy to think about so yeah that's my experience meeting forever in your mind again like I said I'm gonna put my um probably put my socials down in the 
in my bio or in the link and um, comment, like, subscribe, whatever, and let me know what other videos you guys want me to do because I want to try to start doing more because Christmas break is soon. So we'll see. I don't know if I can do like a weekly thing yet, but definitely I want to try. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.